They're still trying to apply pressure to this Sumail Tinker because he doesn't have boots to come Who knows where he down. is? He's going to let the Fissure go. Sumail may have revealed it there with the rocket. Now the Echo Slam coming through. Follow up in Chantona. Moon shuts down the rat. They don't have the mech available, so one or two of these marches and the A oh, Blast is going to slow this down. Well, he can jump away, but if he jumps in, then that's going to be an easy grab for OG. No tail gets clipped by the Ice Blast. He walked back into it. I think he still lives here, though. The zombies trying to prevent that escape, but it seems he should make it out. Now Snowball onto Fear, catching him, and it seems Fear may drop as well. In comes the Razor. They clean up two more. Splits. They get a Sanji Yash up a Miracle. The mech is mentioned. Oh, Sumail's going to get caught oh, out again. The jump, but Sumail once more exterminated. No tail, sitting at 1600. But EG, they're back to the split push game. We're going to see RTZ bottom, grouped up with the universe. Didn't deploy the Necro book, though. Feels he may need it for the fight mid. As PPD worms his way through the trees, but Moon's there to greet him. Top lane, going to catch out the Ancient Apparition. There's the stun, the follow-up totem, and dumped. Moon is on a mega kill. And EG, they're going to contest. They don't have the echo for this, though. This is a big spell to be missing, but the march stacks up. The tombstones on the high ground blitz. It's so hard to fight into this one. Fear's going to have to TP out, but Moon's there to cancel it. Another grab, but to be fair, the tomb is already down. That's the most oh, important Ice Shards are locking out Arteezy, though. He wasting a lot of his god strength timing. Universe getting caught out now. The callout's coming in. They're going to re-engage with Sumail. He's on the high ground, but he's going to get scouted out here. Fly gets off the curse. Now the embrace. They're going to beat down Sumail and Moon again! He doesn't! The Radiant get the kill! They grab the Aegis! It's Grand Theft here by OG! It's a casual pickup by EG. They needed something like that, but Moon at bottom? He's setting up for this. He's Shadow Bladed up. Oh, Two God. heroes are stacking up. Oh no! This could be terrible, Moon! Looking for the dunk! He bites two again! And Moon the end! He does it once more! He looks for Universe. Barely able to TP out. Oh, PPD. Moon is on the hunt again. He's going to deploy that Shadow Blade. Does he realize what's happening? He's only got a few seconds to react here. Hot on the trail. There's no tier two. Meet the totem, the fissure, the blink. Another grab. It's a monster kill for Moon. One man wrecking crew here. Let's say this goes an hour in, which uh, is a tinker game. It easily could. Is there a point where EG just flat out have the better late game lineup or vice versa? Oh, top lane. Hold that thought. They're taking the go on Arteezy again. It's Moon. He gets up the echo. The follow up damage. Another grab. What a show. Eight, two, and seven on an all plane Earth Shaker. He started 0 and 2. He's gone 8, 0, and 7 since that time. EG. They will walk into the Roche pit here. Actually, I should correct myself. Blinked in. So not technically scouted out here, but OG are in the neighborhood. They seem to know something's up, but now the tomb gets dropped. The march gets spammed out. Really tough to fight into this. It's a whole lot of stuff, but they're going to chance anyway. The BKB from Miracle, and he goes right on Arteezy. Gets off the static link, but he breaks it quickly. The Ice Blast coming through. Hits on Miracle, glimmered up for now. No tail engaging. Can he kill off anything? The BKBs are empty. They're going to have to back. And now the march can really work its magic. There's the curse. It's a bit on the late end of the fight, but it does lock down Arteezy. Trying to finish him off. They look to keep him alive. There's the echo. It's Moon again. He's done it. Two down. Just like that. And now OG. They want this rush and they want it bad. So Universe going to TP out, but Moon's there. The Fissure again. Is there going to be follow up for this? This is the gem carrier. He's able to blink out. Oh, they know he's stuck here. With the canceled... Uh... They have to go for this. This is the gem carrier moon. Perfect on the blink. He's going to find him with the enchant totem. Oh, he can't afford to lose what this. A gigantic grab for OG. A moon again delivers. 10, 2, and 8. And Sumail split pushing days are pretty much over. Oh, no tail. This could be big. Universe is going to find him, blinks in, and then hesitates. Instead, they're going to look for Fly. They got him with the sun. Arteez, he found his opening. Can he actually do much to no-tail here, though? The evasion will be tough to deal with. Oh, and now Merrick jumps now. in. They get off the static link. The O going on Arteez. Ice Blast going to be dodged by the Snowball. Now the Echo, not the greatest, but it does get Universe. Arteez will be lashed down. And... Solid is all they need here for OG as they look for fear to try to TP away. Not gonna happen. He's the knight as well. The old man's down. And PPD's getting caught. To the nursing home and two to fall is Peter. That's four. OG getting everything they need. And now it feels like just a Roche. And then time to go break that pace. And force EG into a decisive game number three.
We got one kill on Fly. And that's really been oh, it for almost here again. Minutes. He's Shadow Bladed up. He's going to run into RTZ. RTZ has to get the hell out, but oh, gets stunned. Fissure's there. Echo's available. Are going to let him go for now. Only for now, though. There's the stun. They got to turn this on move quickly. Lotus Orb is available. They're going to curse RTZ. Stealing his damage. Doesn't have a TP. Forced to fight. In complete trouble. No way out. Completely kited. Controlled in the death by the totem. They're doing such a good job with this slow siege. They're just sending up their Aegis. They jump in though, they go for Sumail, they find him with the Walrus Punch, the Sheevas is there. Miracle looking for the follow-up initiation, and Moon tries to get in, but then Obnoxious Tinker keeps him out. They don't really need him though, Arteezy, Titan, Control, Dead, Fissure, look for the dunk, it's gonna end in absolute agony for EG. Three buyback, four may follow, they still got a Satanic, and they're diving deeper for this. No Tail though has been stunned, can they burst him down? This will be big. Pops the Satanic, looks to turn, tries to hang oh, on. Oh, he's not even going to die. He lives. They just can't get him. And Moon ends this game 14 2 and 13. 39 to 12, the final score. A route to end all routes. Both teams taking turns, beating each other senseless. It sets up for an amazing game three. This was the most disciplined OG I've seen this entire tournament. They almost never extended this entire game. They did such a good job of controlling up the mobile heroes from EG and never allowing them to get the split push going. And this is the man right here, Moon Meander. Did such a good job. Blitz, I have never ever seen an Earthshaker that impressive.